Hey guys, Rough Rooster Knife Sharpening. Um, <clears throat> I was going through my comments and questions the other day on my last video, and I was asked one of the best questions that I think I've ever got on my YouTube channel. And a lot of you guys inspire a lot of these videos. You guys kind of keep me going. Um, the question was, how do I know when to pr progress to another stone? Pretty much, you know, how do I know when I'm done with this stone to go to a higher grit? Well, you know that, I got to thinking about it, and I was like, you know, I do that, but I've never explained really how and why that I do what I do. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys the uh what am I trying to say here? I'm gonna show you guys the actual grit progression of the stones. Uh first off we have a Washita right here. Then we have a soft then you would have your true hard your translucent and then your black now that would be the order that they're supposed to go in but that isn't always the case with the steel that you have um, I've got a lot of carbon steel knives it'd be fine if I just used a Washita on it, or just went from a Washita to a soft. And sometimes that just leaves a fantastic edge. But, you know, if you're really feeling like you got the gumption, really want to sharpen, you know, go through the whole grit process. Um, and again, like I said, it really depends on the steel. Like, you couldn't get M390 and go just with these stones. I mean, you could, but it'd take so damn long that it's just not even worth doing. That's one reason I use diamonds so much before I use my Arkansas. Now, I used to set bevels on like Washitas and aluminum oxide stones and things like that, and I can still do it, but it is so slow compared to uh, how fast diamonds cut. If you get a good crisp edge off the diamonds, let them do most of the work and then go to your Arkansas, that's fantastic. That's what I do. But, if I start with this Washita here, how do you know that you're done with that stone? If I start, or if, I, if I'm working on this soft, how do you know when you're done with that stone when you need to progress to this? Or a lot of the times, I'll go from the soft straight to the black. This is an excellent combination stone. This is not a pinnacle, by the way. I broke the box that the Dan's come in. I just like this box better anyway. That's actual, That's an actual Dan stone. But, uh... You want... You want to check... Your edge... As you sharpen frequently. You, this thing needs to be sharpened. I mean, it's, it's a workable edge, but... That thing's been put through the ringer. But, uh... You want to check your progress often. You want to feel your edge. You want to inspect your edge and make sure that you're not going too high or too low. Uh, you guys see me check my edge a lot when I'm sharpening on my videos here. And I do that to see my progress. And not all the time, but like I said, you know, particularly on the grind or on the secondary bevel and depending on what steel it is, You'll feel yourself, or you'll you'll feel your blade getting sharper. And once you are happy with the results from that particular stone, whichever one it may be that you're using, you progress to the next stone. Or if you feel like that you need to achieve a certain level of sharpness before you leave that stone. Uh, if you've got a, a certain... 
a certain place you'd like to be or you've got a certain way you would like it to cut before you leave that stone and the not necessarily the longer because everybody that watches this is at a different sharpening level but for instance like with myself I like when I'm on my course DMT my extra course I mean you could do it but it's just kind of pointless an extra course DMT is to actually shape your your edge um, it's a very very rough stone it's 220 grit but off the course DMT which is 320 grit I like it I like my blade to shave or be very very close to shaving uh, that is one of the that is one of the secrets to how I get such a sharp edge because if you if you've already got a shaving sharp edge off your first stone off your first core stone then the rest of it is just refining that edge and it's just going to get sharper and sharper and sharper the more that you go through these stones but one combination that I have found that works very very well is going from a fine DMT which is 600 grit to a soft Arkansas properly lapped of course and it leaves a fantastic edge especially on 154 cm um, the least stone that I use is probably a true hard and that's the reason you don't see many of them on my channel um, true hards I know you a lot of you guys have seen them old uh, trihones they'll have the the core stone which is the old silicon carbide or the uh, aluminum oxide stone and then you'll have the medium Arkansas which is a soft and then you'll have the white true hard and that's this is really the first lineup before your black and your translucent for years I thought my or I thought a translucent is finer than a black and there may be some out there that that are kind of in between but that's when you have to use the stone and find out what it does because each and every one of these stones will act different you'll have to get used to them but my theory in thinking a translucent was finer than a black is if you have material that is so densely compact it transmits light then why wouldn't it be finer than a black I don't know but this stone right here cuts very well it leaves a very very nice edge but it's not nearly as fine as my Dan's black and I had spoken with Mr. Dan I have said this on my YouTube channel before uh, or in a previous video that Dan told me once that he still can't figure out what makes a black stone a black but this stone right here is much 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 finer than this one but they act similar um, one thing that I have found out about a translucent translucent as opposed to a black this stone a translucent seems to have a little bit more scratch or uh, coarseness to it than the black does this will leave a little bit of a coarser edge than the black will but I kinda got off subject right there but guys it's one of them things that I've done for so long I didn't even think about telling you guys about and I can't remember who asked that question but that was a very very good question and like I said you guys keep me going a lot of the time on my on my videos and uh, when I get writers block sometimes or video block whatever you want to call it um, authors used to call it writers block when they couldn't think of something to do or something to write about rather but uh it's just you use your own judgment and that's hard for me to tell you how to do because like i said each and every person on here is at a different level of sharpening and it's it's something that you're going to have to judge for yourself i can show you and tell you and and put all the information out there in the world but until you actually use the stones 
and use what you have and really get to know them and really know what that stone's capable of and what they like and what they don't like, that's when you start um, getting more personal with them. You start knowing about them more. It's like getting to know a friend. You know, you got to know what it's about. But uh, that's about all I got. I just wanted to explain that to you guys. And uh, like I said, that was probably the best question I've ever got on YouTube. And I really appreciated that question because that one made me think for a minute. I like those questions. The ones that I can't just pop off with an answer with. That's something I really, you know, had to think about with a video for you guys. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And i got to show this thing off real quick. That's just a beautiful Washita. But anyway, you guys have a good evening. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really enjoyed doing this video. It wasn't very long. It's like 11 and a half, 12 minutes. But uh, you guys have a good evening. And uh, practice with uh, some of your stones a little bit. Let me know how you're doing. Take her easy.